YouTube. Hope you liked the new intro video. Anyway, a few updates. Number one, we have a thousand plus subscribers. So thank you for watching and subscribing to this channel. And I got some crazy forum things that we're going to be working on over the next couple weeks. So let's just dive into it right now. List is one of my favorite mods right now. Are these panel clips from uh, Richard JM. Link to that's in the description below. These things are fantastic. And just a little pro tip um, when you're installing them, if your filament seems to fall out, uh, I just took a solder iron to kind of like melt them on there and they, they work really well. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have used the pop green, uh, but I was impatient and wanted to get them installed and test them out right away. So anyway, there's that. So link to that is the description below. Now let's look at my messy tabletop here. This is a project I've been working on slowly. Um, these are from a tiny shell script. I got these at west3d.com. The link to these, all wheel drive mod, is in the description below. Um, I did modify these. Now, tiny shell is really easy to work with, really chill dude. And uh, I let him know that I was going to be modifying these a little bit because I wanted to upcycle hardware I already had instead of ordering new stuff in. Um, I literally have a wall of 3D printing crap and it seems to get bigger and bigger every time I, you know, embark on some kind of journey with a 3D printer. So um, I figured let's scale back a little bit and see what we can do. So I got these um, cobalt five millimeter drill bits uh, from Al Tools on Amazon. Link to these in the description below if you're interested in them. Um, soft aluminum, really simple. And uh, anyway, I drilled them out all the way around so I could use this hardware. Now this hardware is a M5 by 30 millimeter long. It is a button head and I'm using a nylock nut on the bottom. So super excited to get these installed. Um, I'm waiting on a few things to come from West 3D to finish out this um, new awesome armchair extruder that I'm super stoked to uh, do. Um, yeah, I got some Honey Badger fans in there, which, which are okay. I mean, they are what they are, but uh, you know, fans are fans, right? Uh, let's talk about this for a second. So all this content I've been looking at from other creators and people just like to print things stupid fast that I'm super jealous of. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's the goal of the channel, right? We want to improve upon what we have. So, so Vorons and their stock configuration are phenomenally fine and work for most people. Me, I'm impatient and I know that these things can do a lot more. So uh, I wanted to know why everybody is using this Sherpa extruder and why they're getting such good results with it and why they're not deviating and going to other things. So that's the journey that I'm gonna embark on with you, the viewers, and we're gonna do this together. So as soon as those parts get here, we'll be installing everything on the 2.4 and getting it done in true Voron Matter modern fashion. I'm not gonna do like a Steve builds or whatever where you know we're just sitting here live streaming. I'm just gonna film a few things, throw it together, and then talk about it. Uh, I feel like showing you how to do it kind of robs you of the experience and the fun of tinkering because you already know how to do it. I like to go in blind on things. I like to figure it out. I like to create the challenge for myself. And I know for a lot of people hearing that, that's probably really, really painful. So in closing, a um, few updates. So we surpassed a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, a couple other things, uh, LDO is making filament now. Uh, it's available at 3djake.com. Just type in LDO filament. Um, it's this stuff right here. This stuff works really good. I've been using it for about, you know, like a month and a half. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. It works incredibly well and for the price, it's awesome. So hopefully we'll, some US vendors will start stocking it as well. Uh, vendors, yes, that brings me to West 3D. They are selling the V0 mini fridge kit. They're already putting in batch order two. So um, I'm told it's very popular and you know, that's that's all things to whopping Pochard and his awesome clicky clack. Uh, as I call it, the fridge mod. I love this door. I install it on every printer that's enclosed that I possibly can. Um, it's amazing. It works really, really well. Um, I'm a huge fan. So thank you, Wapping, for giving me your blessing to uh, get the miniaturized version out in the world. By the way, the GitHub on that is updated. So if you're having questions, that is the place to get it. And links to all these things are in the description below. Um, we're going to be doing a series. I'm going to be releasing a series of videos uh, on Orca Slicer specifically. And the whole idea on that is that it's one place to go to basically start using it, follow all these steps, all these tuning things. Um, you can adjust the uh, first layer flow, top layer flow, and then everything in between is kind of the same. Uh, so we'll go through those tuning steps together and teach you guys some things that I have learned. And um, if there's something I miss, please make a comment so I can update that. So anyway, it is what it is. I'm really excited about this. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe.